everyone. Welcome to Tokyo Kitchen Japanese Cooking Club. I'm Yoshimi. Today, I'm going to show you how to make katsudon. Katsudon is rice ball, topped with tonkatsu, simmered in savory broth with some eggs. It's very filling and satisfying dish. It's a bit of work because it involves some deep frying, but it is worth trying. At the end of the video, I will show you how I build a menu with this katsudon, so stay with me till the end. Okay, let's get started. These are what you need to make four servings. Two cups of Japanese rice, one kilo of pork loin, one onion, eight eggs, something green. I'm using this one called mitsuba, but you can use green onion, chives, scallion, or green peas. 8 tablespoons of mirin, 4 tablespoons each of soy sauce and sake, and 1 teaspoon of hondashi, instant Japanese soup stock. You also need 2 cups of panko breadcrumbs, half cup of all-purpose flour, and some salt and pepper. I'm going to cook rice first. So let's rinse it. Add some water. Stir gently. Drain. And just repeat this three or four times. Let's put rice in the pot. It's two cups of rice, so let's add two cups of water. Rice and water is always one to one. with the lid and leave for half an hour. This is to give enough time for rice to soak up the water to the core so the rice is nice and fluffy to the core when it's cooked. In the meantime, let's finish all the cutting. So onion, cut the top and the bottom off. Peel the skin. Let's make thick slices. Tendon is running here between the meat and the fat. So let's stab it here to cut off the tendon. On both sides. Using meat mallet or back side of the knife, beat the pork to tenderize.
If you are removing the fat, you don't need to do the stabbing. Let's trim the fat. And beat to tenderize. I have two slices with the fat off and two slices with the fat on. You can do either way you like. The rice has been soaked for half an hour. So let's start to cook. Just turn the heat on and bring it to boil over medium high heat. Once it comes to boil, turn the heat to low, as low as you can go and let it simmer for 12 minutes. Simmer for 12 minutes. Kill the heat and let it steam for a while. Now, I'm making some tonkatsu. Half cup of water into the bowl of flour. Mix well. And the butter is ready. Some salt and pepper on both sides of the pork. into the butter then panko breadcrumb gently press it down so the panko stay well Heat up some oil in the frying pan. I'm using rice oil, but you can use any oil you like. Put down chopstick into the oil. And if you see small bubbles coming up from the chopsticks, the oil is ready. So let's put the pork. And fry them until these are golden brown, depending on the thickness of your pork, but 2 to 4 minutes on each side. Beautifully fried on the other side too, so let's take them out. Before moving on to the next part, remove all the bits of tanko in the frying pan.
fries. Let's cut them into strips. Chop, don't slice. Try not to overbeat it. You're just breaking the egg yolk. Lid on and cook for one minute. Put the tonkatsu and egg topping. And cut 
katsudon is ready to go. Time for the tasting. Let's have some tonkatsu here. The rice soaked up the savory broth. It's really, really good. It's so rich, filling, and satisfying. I feel like I can survive the week only with lean and healthy food if I have this at the beginning of the week. Delicious! This is how standard Japanese combo style meal looks. Rice, soup, main, one or two side dishes. Katsudon is like rice and main put together, so let's put it here and nothing here. Katsudon is rich and heavy, so let's have something healthy for the other dishes. Mushroom miso soup here, onion salad for one of the side dishes, and some sort of pickles to refresh your palate for the other one. I hope you enjoy the meal. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. More videos coming up on every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss anything. Bye!